Hey guys, Pico S up here. So I'm doing a end user review on the 511 Windows shoes, and as you can read by the titles, I've worn this for over 500, 500 days. I got this back in 2017 in June, and I have been wearing this pretty much every single day except for days that I have an outdoor game or days that I have to wear a suit, which I wear a leather shoes or a boot. But for the rest of the days, I would say like 90%, 99% of the days I was wearing this. And up until last month, that I got the Ultima OTB. So I thought I would do a review on this just to show you guys the damage that I have caused to these shoes. As you can see, it's pretty much worn down. So, and in the 500 days of me wearing this, I, my wife was pregnant in 2017. So then I was walking with her every single day for at least five kilometers every day. So out of the 500 days, half of them I was walking over five five to ten kilometers per day so it's I have been using this for quite a long quite a lot and quite a long time so let's go over some of the damage first let's look at the bottom and overall it's pretty intact in the front section here and at the back where you are landing I'm landing like here down first and this part it got filed down to the next level and it got pretty thin now on both of the bottom back of the shoe the front is actually okay the grip is still there you can still see the gaps and one thing i like about this bottom as i mentioned in my cv setup is that all the gaps are big enough so none of the bbs will stuck in it and you know how fun it is to clean up stuck bb under your shoe so so this is the bottom and as you can see both of my shoes at the back here they got worn down and it is because when I put on and take off my shoes I don't really untie my shoelaces. I don't think anyone I don't think I think the majority of people do not untie and tie the shoelaces when they are getting in and out of the shoe so when I put my feet in like this and then I would grab the back and here so this part on this part got going quite a bit so you can see both of these are worn out and as a side there's a little bit of Warning out here, you can see inside there's a little foam layer. And at the front, it's actually pretty intact. <clears throat> and I've never washed this in 500 days. And the padding, actually this is a, I replaced this padding already. The original padding, um, I made a hole in here. There's no hole here, but you can actually this. You can see this quite dirty actually. Okay, you can see this spot. That's where the hole was <clears throat> on the padding. Actually, this one is kind of thin already. So the padding, uh, I think I it got worn out after a year, and I kept using it until I made a hole there. And then this one, I got it for like eight or ten dollars. I don't remember. So this is a replacement padding that I have used for half a year since then. So this is the first 511 part that I have. And originally I was going to get the Range Master, but then that one did not have my size and this one this one was on sale. And the only difference was the Range Master is waterproof and this one is not. And I think the part here is a little bit taller on the angle for the Range Master. But overall, I really enjoy my time with it. and. Now since it's coming to an end, I think I'm, I'm going to donate this pair of shoes to Salvation Army. So, and I'll have a follow-up update on this one, maybe after a year or so. This is the, again, this is the Ultima OTB shoes in MC color. So this is all I have for today and thank you for watching.